Hey guys, welcome to a little video uh, for a review of the new kits that just dropped today. I am very excited. I think first we are just going to hop right in here. I have organized everything from the Greenhouse Haven kit using the Organized Debug mod from uh, Twisted Mexi. I highly recommend. I uh, really, really, really like his mod. So what I'm going to do is just pull everything out really quick. Uh, because I just want to see everything. Oh my gosh, that was so tiny. <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh, I love it. There's one uh, flooring and one. Is that a wallpaper? Okay, yes. Yeah, so let's make a little tiny room over here to start. Just a little box. Here is pretty close up of the wallpaper pattern. Okay. Let's get them different swatches up. Then we have this plain one, right? And then we have. Oh, hold on. Let me. Hold, please. Scroll all the way down. I want to make sure that I only see this so I don't get confused. Here we go. I know there's only one. This plain swatch. Here's a wood panel swatch. And another wood panel swatch. And this is just plain brown, which matches. And then here's this panel swatch. Okay. Very cool. And then there's also a green. Okay. There's the green panel. And then we have black. We have white wood right here just to see everything and then we have just plain white I think that's everything so we have all of the swatches come in this wallpaper texture um, and then the wood texture I don't know what they were going with for this if that's gonna be if that's supposed to be like cork board or just paint like maybe sponge paint or stucco but I do like the wood panel because you see all the little divots in the wood like Maybe it's repurposed or like pallet wood that's been painted. Very much enjoy that. And then da -da -da -da, we have the windows, which also have all the different swatches. So they come in um, the green, the white, the black, the light wood, and the darker wood. And then we also have green and white. Green with um, panes, white with panes black with panes I got it and then we okay that's where the second color comes in and then we have a black with a screen the light wood with a screen medium wood with a screen and the white with a screen oh that's so cool you guys that is so cool so here's these three different windows in white oh that's really really neat so you could do all kinds of different combinations and then of course this um, window also comes in the open um, the open one, which is right here. And I guess this one also has all of the same swatches. So, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Very good. I think for the sake of purpose here, I just want to do all that same, uh, swatch. And then we'll just take a bunch of these windows and put them all around to really give it that greenhouse feel. Okay, and then this lovely door. I like the handle. Does the handle change is my question. So here's green, green with, a, with paints. Okay, and they also come in screen. So they don't have green with a screen. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, they have white, white with paints, white with a the screen. They have black and black with paints, light wood, light wood with screen, black with screen. Okay, so they're uh, a little all over the place. Let's see. The light wood comes with the screen and the normal. Green comes with panes and normal. White comes with all three options. Black has only the two options, plain and with panes. Oh no, sorry. Black has all three options. Okay, white and black have all three options. <laughs> The light wood and dark wood only come with regular and screen. Whew, man, that was a lot to take in. And then I guess what you would do 
is if you threw this guy up here, you could put it on your roof piece, right? Is that what I am getting from this? Obviously you have to change uh, the roof per to fit that a little bit. So let's do that and come on down here. Okay. I like that. I hate when I <laughs> rotate the whole screen. <laughs> love, love it. All right. Well, I mean, I like it. I really do. And then you could also move it up. So say you wanted it just under, you can use the nine key to raise it up or tool, whichever, or you can have it sitting right on, um, on there. I want to go with this. Okay. That is really cool. I like that. That's really, really neat. There's not a, oh, there is. I was going to say, is there a roof swatch? Am I missing something? There is. So here is the new roof swatch. Very, very cool. If I were doing this, I'd probably shorten those and shorten that. I really like that though. I like all of the different options. It's very, very cool. Uh, and then the flooring too. Let's throw the flooring in here just for the sake of that. And let's check out all of the different um, swatches on here. I'll zoom right in. Then we'll get to all the goodies. So we have this gray brick with the grass coming up. Then we have it in red, also very pretty. Then we have it in the darker red, also very, very nice. I like that. And then this is like, uh, it looks like the textured brick with like the little rectangle in the middle. I have seen these. These are like construction bricks, um, like garden bed bricks. Uh, and then this is another gray swatch with those little uh, cutouts in the middle of the rectangle. Very, very cute. I like it. I think I, I do like the tan, but for the sake of changing so that it isn't all the same color on the inside, let's do that instead. And then let's move everything in here one at a time and really just take a look. The green stash storage chest and it is in the storage section. This wooden trunk is a sturdy and stylish storage solution. Blah, blah. Wow, it's a lot of S's. For any Sims collection of gardening supplies, whether you're looking for a practical storage solution or want to store your tools in rustic style, this wooden chest will be perfect will be the perfect addition to your garden space. And it comes in all the swatches. So we have light wood, very, very dark wood, uh, medium tone, a reddish wood, like a cherry. Uh, this one is a bit of a, oh, I don't know what you call it, like a chocolate brown wood. This one's painted green, painted blue, white and black. I really like that. That's very, very nice. I kind of like the green one. And I also like the blue one, let's be honest. I like all of them. Okay, cool. Let's go up here. Now, this is a fan that's supposed to go on the wall. So say you wanted to put it up on the roof, like the roof piece here, you could easily put it up there. Oh, that's very cool. And then you can take this and See? So there's the fan from the inside, and here's from the outside. So from the outside, it looks like just a vent, uh, or you can turn it around. So I guess it's like, is it sucking air in, or is it blowing air out? <laughs> Whichever you decide. But if you place it from this end, there's the fan. Or if you place it from this side, then the fan's on the inside. It's whichever you would prefer the shed shelves table and it is in the surfaces category the shed shelves table you may have dabbled in gardening but now it's time to take things up a notch literally this workbench will give your plant space to grow while keeping all your garden essentials handy we don't know how you'd live without this table but if you do it's probably because you're lost deep inside a greenhouse tidy up and get your plants prioritized with this timeless design okay very nice comes in all of the same swatches. It's really pretty. I think, let me take a quick look around. It has some hardware here. Very cute little detail. I apologize for the traffic noises. People are out on their motorcycles today because it is a gorgeous day. So, and I live on a residential street, so quite nice while my children are napping. 
I really like that table, and I assume all of the little stuff can slot on top. So why don't we see how many uh, slots it has? It looks like, uh, oh, it has a couple. Okay, yeah. Uh, looks like it has three up top. Does it have any on the, uh, ha, ha, ha. It has some on the bottom. That's good. That's good, because I was a little concerned. <laughs> well then, oh, and look, there's a slot on top of the chest too. How very nice. Okay. That's good. Let's bring these puppies inside. We'll take a look at everything. Okay, so coming right along in here, we have all of these little clutter items. You see there's three slots on the top of this table, three slots on the bottom, there's a slot up on the chest, and I don't know if there's a slot over here. Let's find out. Yes, there looks like one, two, three up at the top, and let's see if there's any on the bottom. This is like the best way for me to check. Okay. There's, it looks like maybe two on the bottom. Okay, there's, oh wait, there's a couple more, or is that just my move objects? Nope, that's just move objects. And then up here too on this little shelf, looks like multiple slot sections. So that's really nice. I like that a lot. Let's get everything off this table though, because I want to take a look at it first. We're going to look at all the surfaces. I'm already, oops, loving all of the details on this table here. Let's take a look. We have a partially open drawer with gloves coming out and a closed drawer. We have a little hanging trowel here and a hanging uh, brush, I guess for dusting off when you're done. Cool, cool. And then it looks like a nice plant at the bottom. It actually looks like a piece of shrub that they just cut and piece together. And then here's a little hanging trowel on this side. And up top, it looks like a little box, maybe for seeds. And uh, we have uh, some gardening tape. That's like for holding your plant to the, the post so that it stays standing up. Some seed packets. Maybe these are little gardening cups all stacked together in different sizes. And a little watering can of some kind, perhaps, is my guess. Above it, we have this light. Uh, and in the window here, it kind of glitches out. So I'm going to untab. That's better. So it looks like it has a wood trim on top and it's hanging from some chains. I actually like the way the chains look. Sometimes they look a little too two-dimensional, but don't let me speak too soon. Let's see if I rotate. Um, okay. I mean, they are still two-dimensional, but they're so linked together that you can't really tell. Very classic L brackets. I enjoy that very much. Now let's check out all the swatches. Probably the same. We have the black, green, a light blue maybe, a white and light wood, all white and all black. All right, very cool. And then this table down here also didn't check the swatches and all of the colors change when you change the swatch. Uh, so the color of the gloves change and the pot changes with this one. Oh, I like it though. Everything looks really nice. And also the, um, the dirt or the little triangle, whatever that is. Oh, maybe it's a piece of foam. You know, when you're making a flower arrangement and you need a piece of foam to stick the flowers in. That could very well be. I like that a lot. What is this called? The gardener's stand. Let's go read the description because I didn't do that yet. This is where it all begins. A seed planted and watered where creation happens. From there, it's up to you how you will find your space. Will it be will it be with a splendid array of flower wildflowers or a quaint collection of vegetables whatever the case may be with this workbench you have all the tools and supplies to plant and create the ultimate garden your heart desires and this light is called the solar wall light oh it's solar i wonder if it works off the grid not enough sunlight worry no more the solar wall light is finally or sorry is here <laughs> it's finally here fuel your plants with solar light and they'll bloom like never before. Watch as this lamp promotes rapid growth, giving your plants a brighter future and ensuring that even the smallest of greenhouses are filled to the brim with vitality. I wonder how true that is. Does it actually work off the grid? Because if it really solar, I would expect it to work off the grid. Let me just double check here. 
Let me see. Nope. <laughs> Nothing in the off the grid. Mm, that's a shame. Comes with all the same swatches. Very cute. Keeping with the theme here. All right. It is called the Plat the Plant Platform by Plant It. Get your plants off the ground with the Plant Platform by Plant It. These this simple shelf is the perfect way to organize all your plants and keep them in the sunlight. Very cute. I like that you can like put them on the window too and they don't like look out of place. That's really cute. Okay, easy enough. The blooming basket. Very pretty. The blooming basket. Bring color and life to any space with this vibrant hanging basket. Perfect for your patio, balcony, or poolside. These blooming flowers are sure to brighten up your space. Let's check all of the swatches. Oh, so pretty. So this is, the metal changes color, the hanger changes color um, along with the flowers and the chain. I think those are really pretty. They almost look like 3D. Like you can see a lot of pattern, which is really cool. I really like that a lot, actually. That's super pretty. I think that one, I think the default one is honestly my favorite. Okay, now. I think that was the last big piece of furniture. So let's go into the little guys. A starter seedling. Oh, and it's only $10. Or I mean 10 simoleons. That's not bad. Uh, uh, you know, better than Bloom and Rooms kit with that itty bitty plant that costs like, what, 80 simoleons? Anywho, starter seedling. You're growing a plant. The labels say annual, and you don't know what that means. <laughs> it seems like you gave it the right amount of water, despite the yellow leaves. If you water it way too often, could it thrive to the point of only just looking dead? Give it another go with this seedling. Oh, that's so funny. Oh. So, <laughs> green plant. Oh, you see, you can make it look slightly dead. So there's a very alive looking plant, slightly dry plant, dead. <laughs> or just nothing and just dirt. And then it goes for every swatch. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So you could have like a little arrangement of all empty pots, some looking dead, some looking alive. I like that a lot. All right, and here is the vertical stack. The vertical stack says, do you have plants that are outgrowing their pots? Well, now you can get them a new home. These planters are empty, but ready to be filled to the brim and take on the job of holding your larger, more mature plants. As an added bonus, they stack vertically and don't take up much floor space. Okay, very cool. So obviously they're just decorative, but they are so pretty. I like that they they have a kind of texture to them, like terracotta, really like that. That's gonna work in a lot of my builds. I'm very pleased. All right, moving down to the table, we have the miniature vine. The miniature vine. If you want to add a little whimsical touch to your home or just want something green to spruce up your outdoor space, then look no further. This tiny vine plant is the perfect addition. Carefree, easy to care for, and practically indestructible. Mm. This mini plant will surely impress with its tiny size and resilient demeanor. Let this little guy live its best life in your garden or keep it in a pot on the windowsill. It'll be happy either way. All right, let's see what the swatches are. So we have an off-white, a white, black, a tan, a pinkish, a nice blue, mint bl greenish blue color, and a chocolate brown. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, very nice. And here's a little uh, collection of seedlings. Oh, that's so cool. I enjoy these. Okay, let's see what they're called. Out of the woods seedlings. You've managed to come this far. You helped to create new life, and now you've transferred your fresh-grown seedlings from their seed pot to their own individual pots. Everything is going according to plan. Stay calm. There's nothing that can go wrong at this point, right? Said every gardener ever. This says, Green Thumbs Secret Solutions. The truth behind every Green Thumbs gift. A collection of elixirs specially concocted to put the pep back into your perennials step. Results not guaranteed. Hmm. Sounds about right. All right, so very cute swatches. Do the labels change? Yes, they do. A little sprout and then a leaf. A sprout and a drop of water. A tree and a leaf. Another tree and a leaf, tree and a leaf, tree and a leaf. Oh wait, oh no, tree and a drop of water, okay. Oh, and then this one is just words, simlish words. Oh, that's very cool. Or maybe it looks like 
you know, it looks like there was a label on it and someone put a piece of tape over. I have to take a closer look here. Yes, so it looks like there was a label on it and someone put a piece of tape over it. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, I love that. That's, what a great, what a great little addition. Okay, now to the lower level, we have ceramic planters. <sighs> okay, ceramic planters, a classic piece. These pots are essential for every gardener, and if you're looking for something a little more rugged than a typical planter, these are just right. With their timeless look and sturdy design, they're ready to stand up to anything you can throw at them, except a rock. <laughs> Oh man, sometimes these things make me giggle. All right, so we got like a worn, like a worn terracotta, new terracotta, a worn uh, brownish tone, and then mixed match, mismatched uh, terracotta and the warm brown, and then we have like a grayish black and white. And some of them are a little chipped too. It looks like, which is kind of cool. I like it. And these are, oops, I didn't wrong tool. The ceramic stack. Ah, here you go. What are plants without pots or hats without heads? They may be nothing crazy, but they are the best way to get a small house plant started. Same swatches. Oh, very pretty. Okay. Hopes and dreams seed pot set. Here we go. You are confident that this time it will work. And the fact that this is your fifth seedling starter set means nothing. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, so it looks like it comes with, it's as far as I can zoom in, in this mode. But you have the seedling, and then the dirt, and then a yellow seedling, and then a black with a seedling, black, uh, dark green that's empty, dark green with a yellow <laughs> seedling. Oh my gosh, so they all come in varying states. You can have green, dirt or yellow like they're dying <laughs> that's so funny okay next we are gonna hop right here mulch to do about planting <laughs> clever let your neighbors know that you mean business in the garden with the surprisingly messy collection of gardening supplies from the soil filled pot with the well-used trowel to the crumpled bags of mulch it tells everyone around that you have the ultimate green thumb very, very cool. And we have this swatch and this, oh look, there's a chicken. And then this swatch, just plain, I like it. And then this one, this looks like mostly flowers. So it looks like maybe vegetables. Um, and then this is maybe uh, for growing like chicken feed kind of vegetable, like, you know, like plants that you can feed to your chickens or livestock. This is just neutral and plain. And this is specifically for flowers. Okay, very nice. This is the Gardener's Hall. Gardener's Hall. So, it says, an essential collection of tools that no gardener could live without. You'll surely find yourself reaching for these classic and timeless tools every time you need to get your hands dirty in the garden. Let's see these swatches. Oh, and the bag changes as well. Oh, that's so cool. I like this one. That's really pretty and just make sense. I love when things make sense, in case you haven't figured out, or in case you're new here. Hi. I like when things make sense. <laughs> That's gonna be my merch someday. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, planters for future plants. I believe this might be the last little item on our list. At the moment, these planters are still in your shed, serving as pretty intermediate storage for the fluffs <laughs> from your tumble dryer, but you're planning to use them for new plants soon ish <laughs> I love it that's so funny and so accurate oh look at all the different colors and there's also lots of neutrals too so some of them have fun patterns and some of them are just neutral I like it I like it a lot now I think that's everything for the greenhouse haven kit okay you guys here's all the lovely basement junk <laughs> I'm super excited. We're going to do again. We're going to start with the bigger pieces and then move on to smaller pieces. Now these are little dudes and they can be moved. So ignore them. Let's start with this uh, broken TV. Oh, my grandparents had something that looked exactly like this. 
Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Retroplex TV console. And it is in surfaces, so it's actually under tables, not electronics. The Retroplex TV console is truly an, an heirloom to be cherished, even though it's beyond repair. Perhaps it can be repurposed into something new, because this piece is just too cool to throw out. I agree. Alright, so it has a bunch of- oh my gosh, it just gets more broken. So here you can see like the speakers are kind of moldy, TV's cracked. Here that one speaker is ripped, it's moldy, it looks really tarnished. This one is the same. Okay, so each swatch comes with a different uh, dirtiness or moldiness level. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. This is called the Weary Wall Decal. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, your house will always show wear and tear. To some, it's a nuisance, and to others, it's a talking point. Will you hide the signs of disrepair or show them off with pride? The choice is yours. All right, let's see what the swatches are. So we have exposed brick, uh, exposed plaster, and then upside down exposed plaster. That looks like some kind of splotchy mark of some kind yeah okay this is like scratches so we're not gonna be able to see it unless I do like uh, a different color on the wall here let's see if we can just do maybe like brown paint there we go you see that a little bit better okay just some scratches that was like scuffs and scratches from moving furniture this it looks like a water stain of some kind and that's an upside down exposed Exposed, exposed brick. Oh, trying to talk. Unbeatable stains. These stains have been here a while, quite a while, almost as if each one has a unique story to tell. What do you think they're saying? <laughs> God. Okay, so there's a big one and a little more subtle one. That's like a scratch mark. That's definitely scratches from moving furniture around. That looks like along the bottom of the wall. And that is disgusting. That looks like mold. Oh, God. Blah, blah, blah. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Well, that's good. That means it's very realistic. All right. And this, that looks like a picture of Eliza Pancakes and Bob Pancakes. I, I could be wrong, but it's kind of funny. And it comes in. There's a broken mirror. That's what to see. This blue one's not broken. Oh, kids running. Oh, my gosh. That's so 90s. I love it. Green pink little family photo very cute and then it comes in a couple different oh, okay that's a sad one I don't like that one that one makes me want to cry very nice and this is called strange reminiscence framed photo I had to check out the swatches first I don't know why strange reminiscence framed photo excerpt from an elder sims perspective by o specter nearing the end of their life every sim falls for the bittersweet temptation of nostalgia the dreamy allure of old photos in painted frames we look to the past with a certain with a certainty we simply cannot hold <laughs> for the present seeking comfort in stories we already know the endings of things that left us awestruck and full of wonder then leave us tired and longing for familiarity now while it might be easy to dwell on what was or what could have been never forget that this mode of living we've been given is a gift. Okay, well, very deep. Okay, moving on. Forgotten frames. This one is a mirror with some frames leaning up against it. It says, tucked away in a basement, forgotten picture frames wait for someone to bring them out again. An old, an old large mirror passed down through a family line waits to be seen once more these treasures sit in storage waiting for their time to shine okay and i love the very slight differences you see the painting on the bottom changing very cool and then the frames and there actually is like dirt and dust and cracks on some of these and like rips in the canvas like this one looks like an old 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 version of this this looks old this looks the oldest okay I really like how they did that how they mix that up a little bit very cool and then this is the graceful ambition standing mirror this mirror stands the test of time graceful ambitious bold and flawless this standing mirror is a head turner to say the least starting from humble beginnings and crafted to stand the test of time you'll gaze into this mirror and reflect on the many memories and ask where did they go Alright, same kind of swatches, just without the paintings. 
All right, really cool. And then we have this plant here, which is Uncle Bob's Dusty Rubber Plant. <laughs> Having once spruced up a bare corner and enlivened many decks, this artificial plant is now a handy dust collector for generations to come, requiring much less tending than other plants. It stands the test of time for Sims, who may want a bit of green without having too much work involved. That's funny. I have lots of fake plants in my home for just that reason. And it actually looks like a fake plant because like, they made it look fake. Oh, that's funny. I like it though. Look, the pot is cracked in certain spots. See? And like scuffed. Oh, really cool. Really, really cool. Oh my gosh. I love that. Unstable shelves. This shabby bookshelf reminds me of the days when I used to study in my dorm room. It makes me realize that the best books can't be purchased. They all may be old and worn, but each book holds more than just the text on the page. They hold precious memories of days gone by. Very cool. And we have all the same swatches with different wear and tear. Oh my, I love that. Oh, I love that. I'm going to use this best seat in the house. Without a doubt, an old recliner is far better than a new one. <laughs> this chair has been perfectly broken in, sorry, broken into, and the leather is soft and supple. It's been the best seat in the house many times and will be for many more years to come. Oh, that's cute. It's like grandpa's old chair. Love it. Oh, I love all the different wear and tear patterns. So that one's not as bad. That one's super worn out. Like, that one's pretty worn out. This one's like, eh, just a little. <laughs> I love it. Grandma's couch. Oh, see? Oh, my gosh. I love it. This couch has been passed down from your grandparents' days. It's a well-loved piece with plenty of stories to go along with the ruthless wear and tear. Excuse my yawn. At this point in its life, it holds too much sentimental value, value to simply throw away. You can't buy memories, after all. Aw. Oh man, I love this couch. It's a perfect basement couch. Oh man, I would even put that in the living room now. I don't even care. I'd put that in the current Sims living room. That's beautiful. A well-traveled trunk, replete with tales of mystery and intrigue, awaits to be rediscovered. This curious object was once used by an unknown passenger on a long journey across the sea. Ooh boy. Okay, let's check the swatches real quick. Very nice, very nice. So you can actually put things in here. And these two swatches here don't have anything in them. The rest of the swatches look like they have a piece of paper or fabric hanging out. Very, very cool. This is in decorations. A classic for a reason. The Moving Buddy is a hand-me-down that has seen it all and been through so many moves. Where will it take you next? And it has different swatches as well. Alright, and they're all pretty worn out, but I really like this one. This looks like the one I have in particular. Look at that detail, too. I'm sorry, but that is very detailed. Alright, and then we have these little guys over here. We'll do this little section first. This is, looks like an old-timey phone. Relic of good times. This telephone was once the pinnacle of a teenager's life. Now replaced by the convenience of smartphones, new generations of Sims will never know the struggles of having to remember other Sims' numbers by memory, the awkwardness of asking your crush's parents if they are available to talk, or the frustration of being kicked off the internet because your mom accidentally picked up the phone. <laughs> Love those days. Oh, I remember. Okay. Showing my age now. So it looks like it's a freezer bunny uh, lunchbox for the phone, and that is... Oh, I don't know what that is. Another decal. Okay, more words. Another freezer buddy. Oh, excuse me. So this one's the really worn out version of this. Makes sense. So that's worn out, new. Worn out, new. Got it. Oh, that's so cool. Well, not new. Still old, but not as worn. Okay, I really love that. Alright big box of irreplaceably replaceable things. Okay. The sim that packed this box? We all know what they were thinking. Oh, I can't get rid of my ninth grade algebra notes. What if I'm faced with a linear equation one day and there's nowhere else for me to turn? Of course that notebook has sat unopened since that moment. Cradled by a pair of old worn out jeans, they swear will fit them again one day. Hugged by a scarf that happens to be their least favorite color that they vaguely remember buying because they needed to expand their wardrobe horizons. Oh my gosh. 
Stop coming for me. <laughs> Seriously. All right. I love it. It, again. Ew, that one looks like it got wet. Gross. Ugh. It just makes sense. Again, it just makes sense. They're all speaking to me. The shabby cardboard box. <sighs> Collect family treasures and stow away one-of-a-kind keepsakes with the shabby cardboard. Dusty and worn, these cardboard boxes are an invitation to investigate the memories held within... Okay, so we have like clean box, really dirty box, clean box, super dirty box. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, records of the past. We're going to try to zoom through these little guys really quick because uh, my kids are going to be waking up soon. <laughs> records of the past. These must be some form of ancient technology. While the outer, spa outer square sh sleeves bleh, vary in color and appear to be merely used for protection and identification purposes, they all contain mostly black colored plates. However, these plates have a hole in the middle, which is why we conclude that you're probably not meant to hold your grilled cheese. They're not <laughs> meant to hold your grilled cheese. Oh god, there's still much to unveil, but we believe that the engraved spiral texture on these plates was used to convey some sort of signal. But a signal to whom? And what kind of signal? That remains to be uncovered. Oh my god, that's so funny. I love it. Okay. And I love all the different colors. And the crate has got little dinks in it. Oh man, that is so cool. So cool. This guy is the fun of yesteryear. Looks like old boxes maybe of that looks like okay. Does that not look like it says life? Oh, oh my god. Take me back. Ah, oh, where are you? The fun of yesteryear. Fun for all ages, almost all the pieces are included for you to enjoy either a game of Scrabble or Syndicate. Instructions no longer included. So cool. Pardon the school bus screeching in the background. Alright, so we have this swatch, this one, this one. This. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. I'm going to shove that in my Sims closet and forget about it. Mementos of Glory. What's this? Oh, there you are. When you need a little pick-me-up, take a moment to look back at all you've accomplished. You were bowling royalty, even if only for the night, and your hot dog eating skills were unmatched. In some cases, you didn't get first, but at least your participation earned you a medal or two. Dust these relics off and get lost reminiscing about the good old days. Oh, that's so cool. What is in that? Can I, is it like coins or something? Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Over to the lamp, which I love. Brass floor lamp. Alright. This lamp has what today's light fixtures simply can't provide. Vintage patina, quality materials, and timeless design. That flickering may be a nuisance, you know, but what if it's someone sending messages from the other side? Maybe you shouldn't part with it just yet. That's not creepy. Oh, I love it, though. That's so pretty. Ew, that one looks so gross. <laughs> just saying gross in a good way gross in a good way and that one is just very dark the square tube oh it actually works very nice okay a unique piece of history this vintage and square tv is a reminder that there was once a time <sighs> i'm sorry before flat screens it may not work too well anymore but why not make a statement very cool and it has four swatches so this one has like marked up screen like it's really worn out this one, the outside is worn out, but screen looks okay. Same with the black swatch. Okay, very nice. This lamp I'm excited about, the not-so-mod lamp. Feeling a little tense? Lighten up. It's that not-so-modern mod lamp for the folks who just can't get enough of the bygone area, of a bygone era. Why get a functional lamp when you have when you could have this non-functional art piece? And who doesn't love art that makes you feel? Okay, is it really non-functional though, or can we turn it on? I'm gonna have to find out. And we have these different shades. Oh, I actually kind of like these. <laughs> if they weren't dirty, I'd probably actually use them. Dusty trinkets that hold strange sentimental value. They're creepy, but also cute. Kinda. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love the bear holding the flowers. I have no idea what's in that itty bitty box. Is it supposed to be like an old frame? Maybe a card? Um, an ashtray? <laughs> to the star of the show. Disassembled heart bed. 
This is in decorations. Okay. It's been over 20 years, yet this old Vibromatic will still have you feeling flirty as you recall the good old days when you were living large. Oh my gosh, I love it. It has a lot of history and it shows. Nonetheless, there's still some motion in the ocean and maybe the vibration engine could even work again one day. This unique piece captures such a special place in our hearts that we can't quite part with it. Romantic Decor 8. Ooh. I wonder if that's a sign they're going to bring it back. It makes me wonder. Okay, so we have this is the first watch. This one, oh, you can see the difference. So that one's like, yeah, that's dirty. That's super dirty. And then this one is actually relatively clean looking compared to the first one. Let me see. No, it's about the same, but it has a different blanket. And this one is also super dirty. Um, same as that, but has a different color blanket. Oh my God. Oh, the memories. Okay. And this is not that, <laughs> not the decal, the dated drywall. They really give me like old Sims vibes. And I don't know why that is per se, but let's see. Yeah, see the upper wood is a little grainy and the walls themselves are just very dated colors and like the towards the bottom they look kind of dirty maybe okay you guys well that was so much fun i'm super excited to use all of these uh new items from the kit uh let me know in the comments what you thought be sure to check out my instagram it's miss chris builds and the groups that i am on on facebook if you found me there be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos like this and also more Let's Play episodes and speed builds in the future. Thanks so much for joining me here today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye